guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. In today's video, I am actually partnering with Ades. Ades is a community-based luxury brand. Ades actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to partner with them on a video and I thought it was such a unique, innovative idea that I was like, hell yeah, girl. Basically what they are is they are an online site that is for luxury brand products such as handbags and wallets and things of that nature and the consumer, you, me, gets to actually make the decisions on the design. That is actually everything in the collection. So the collections, the products, the materials, the campaigns, etc. The consumer can go on and go onto their account and vote on the actual website and then basically you are designing your own luxury product. So on their website, adeslifestyle.com, which will be launching in a Kickstarter, I will leave the link to that Kickstarter below. Sometime in the beginning of November, the website goes live and it launches. This is really empowering women to come together and be the own leaders in designing their own luxury items. I think it is just out of this world how far things have come. So in saying all of that, DHL just arrived on my doorstep with a delivery from Paris, France, because that is where the headquarters is. In this box is the first launched community-led designed item, a handbag. It is the first iconic limited edition handbag that they designed together as a community team. I'm so excited to unbox this guy with you guys. So let's take a look at this handbag. All right, it's a big box. It's a very big box. Oh, it has its own little dust bag. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, wow. Oh, nice color. Stop. I love that. Wow, that is really, really chic. That is a beautiful, chic design. Oh my God, this leather smells out of this world. Wow, the quality is really fantastic. So let me read you the description. This bag is actually called the Anna Bag, A-N-A. -A. It is their first bag in their collections and it is made up actually of a Mez Kelly bag calfskin leather. That is amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. It, well, listen, it smells like that. It's got beautiful silver hardware that I'm seeing there. It's got the Ades logo engraved here on this front plaque that you can see. This strap or shoulder strap is not detachable. And then you have these really comfortable rolled top handles as well. And then the way it closes, the closure is a nice, beautiful silver zipper closure with a leather tab here. Nice zipper. Oh, cute. And the interior is actually that same geometric uh, blue and white print as the dust bag is. Let's have a look at that. Stuffed very nicely. Oh wow, it's really spacious. It is really spacious down inside there. So there it is. Good shot down inside the bag. Really deep blue, kind of oily green colored uh, leather. If you can see that, it is a smooth calfskin leather, which is really, really pretty. Thank you so much for Ades for sending me this bag and partnering with me on this video. I will leave all of the links below in the info box to Ades and their Kickstarter launch for their website. A community-led website for consumers is such a cool idea. Okay, if you've been following my daily vlogs for Vlogtober, you would have seen Mum and I pop out to see Serena before she goes on maternity leave. I did pick up a few more things on that trip, which I probably shouldn't have. But anyway, I'm gonna show them to you in this luxury haul as well. This is from Chanel, if you saw, it's got in the Chanel bag and the Chanel ribbon. And this was actually from David Jones. I just asked for gift wrapping. So here is the item. And this was for my hubby and he was so happy. Here it is, this is the Chanel blue in the 100 uh, mil. And it is the Eau de Parfum, so it lasts a lot longer, it's more potent. So he was really excited when I came home with that because I had to part 
with his empty bottle that he'd had sitting on the counter in the bathroom for so long. Okay, so also in that vlog, you may have seen in the change room that I went back to try on a dress. I am, need, I am in need of a dress and in another daily vlog, I tried it on, I showed you guys. I wasn't sure, I thought I was a bit too curvilicious for it, but one of my subbies emailed me, Melinda, hi Melinda, and she was like, girl, go back and get it. Curves are everything and you look great in it, so go and get it, or go back and try it on, and that I did. Please excuse the Jerusha Couture coat hanger. It's not Jerusha Couture. It's Studio W. If you remember in my What I Got For My Birthday video, I had picked up those two uh, blouses from this brand, Studio W. This is where that dress uh, came from. And I did try it on in that uh, birthday vlog part two or whatever it was, part one or two. And this is it. So it's this beautiful like sheer lace, high neck, long sleeved uh sort of midi length dress and then it's got a sheer slip inside of it. I was kind of telling mum when I tried it on the last vlog um, when we went to Bondi, I was trying to tell her it's kind of like the Sex and the City naked dress, you know, on the side of the bus where she's naked because it feels like I'm like just completely naked underneath. But it's very on trend right now with the lace and the nude underlay. And then I did also end up coming home with this guy as well. So mum chose this one. I was a little like, oh my gosh, it's just got the puffiest... <laughs> 1980, 1990 sleeves on it, but she loved it on me. It's made of this really beautiful thick uh, cotton jersey fabric. Almost feels like thick Spanx fabric, so it's very nice on the body. It's really contouring to the body, and then it's got this really nice puff sleeve detail. And again, it's a midi length. This is all black, like just completely all black. Again, it is from this Studio W line. Okay, next thing I wanted to show, my husband actually got this as a gift from one of his uh, staff. One of his employees gave him this as a gift and it's the Bentley Azure fragrance. And I've wanted to smell this for a while because I like to recommend fragrances for men, especially if you know they're sexy. So this, <laughs> this is the Bentley perfume and it's got a really nice gradient bottle to blue there. And it's the Azure perfume. So let's have a smell. Obviously Azure meaning blue. Oh, it's really fresh. That's really nice. Oh, sexy men, sexy men. That's really nice. Guys, it is coming up to gift time. It is coming up to gift time. That is a very, very pretty gift. If your man likes perfume or your dad or your brother, that's very pretty. Next up, my brother and his girlfriend wanted to give me this as a gift for my birthday and just to say thank you. Um, they are the sweetest things ever, the two of them. I said to them, that a book was not necessary. Jarrah loves that I collect books or have, you know, my luxury books back there. He's a total bookworm and loves to learn on knowledge. So they did in fact get me another book. This is a Louis Vuitton book, but it's all based on their luggage and their trunks, which is totally my George at the moment. It's got this amazing embossed LV fleur de -lis cover you can see it there. So what it actually is, is it is a book of photos and photography of the art exhibition. And they took photos of the entire exhibition. I, I don't want to, you know, hurt the book. It's really hard to show. Uh, okay, it's really hard to show and I don't want to wreck the book, but obviously it's, um, yeah, as I said, the pictures of the exhibition that's going around New York right now. They're doing heaps of press on it and, you know, there's that really cool vintage Louis Vuitton, um, like, car or bus, I think it is, which is like the Voyager bus. But basically, it's photographs of the exhibition. Okay, it is so wild. What it has in it, as well as the photos, it has this kind of film paper where it's like a printed transcript. Look at this. So it looks like this would be actually handwriting, possibly from Louis Vuitton. I'm guessing it is. From 1929, this is actual handwriting. 
all his like little notes. How amazing. It's like they found a diary. This exhibition looks fantastic. I definitely suggest you go and check it out. That is a beautiful book from my brother and his girlfriend and it was so lovely that they gave it to me. Next up was just this, a quick little thing. I picked this up because I do every year and I always want to show it to you guys. So there it is in the drawer box when I was with Serena. I grabbed this. She asked me, did I need anything? Here we go in the drawer box. And I said, yes, I need the refill for the PM agenda. I always invest in getting the refill package for my PM agenda, just so I definitely know I'm using it. This is the weekly, but it is the partial. So it's just the weekly um, inserts with, you know, you still get the stickers and everything, but it's not the whole, you know, big maps and phone book and things like that. So the artwork inside is just like little cutouts. It's quite cute, actually. Uh, I'm not too fussed at what they are, really. And it's just one week um, to two pages. And then the back, there are no stickers, but there's just like little memo stickers. So you can take these out like little memos for the day. Maybe you're doing something, which is quite a cute little idea. So that was the refill that I did pack, pick up, sorry, from Louis Vuitton. Okay, and lastly, this happened. It happened, I've just got to face it. It was time to invest in a pair of designer heels. I settled on these and they are a beautiful pair of Valentino rock studs. You get the Valentino dust bag with the little, uh, hit, the extra heel pieces are in these little baggies here. So it's a nice little dust bag with obviously the Valentino red and the pair that I did decide on getting were these guys. So I don't know if you watched that vlog, but I did try on the black patent, patent, sorry, leather with the um, powder or blush cage with the rock studs. Uh, however, I settled on this, which is the nude or the powder bl um, blush kind of color in the patent leather, which is really nice because it is, uh, this is a iconic, like this is the classic line and it's just a bit different to just all leather or they had the pe pebbled leather there, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. This is the high heel, I think it's 120, and then it's got the beautiful cage, uh, cage design all the way up the ankle and the beautiful rock studs that are in it in kind of a champagne gold. That's definitely what sold me is it gives a little bit of sparkle, but you know, it's not too over the top or it's not too sort of in your face. So I knew that I wanted to go with these. They are also incredibly, incredibly comfortable. That whole, you know, myth that Valentino rock studs are really comfortable to walk in is true. I'm very picky with my shoes, my high heels, and I just knew that I wanted to invest in something that was comfortable. I have gone down the Christian Louboutin ro route road and it is, you know, needless to say, very uncomfortable. Really sexy, but uncomfortable. These are really comfortable. They're much wider, but that's because the lady told me it has the cage which holds your foot in. I got mine in a size 40. I am genuinely a size 39, 39 and a half. I went a little bit bigger, but they still fit really nicely. And yeah, so I'm really pumped to have these. A proper pair of designer heels in my collection. I had sold my Christian Louboutin boot boots, so I don't actually have anything. And it's really nice to just finally have you know, a good pair of heels. Okay, so that is it guys. That brings me to the end of this luxury haul. I do hope you enjoyed it. Again, I will link all of the information for Ades luxury brand below and their Kickstarter link will be below. Their, so their site will be launching soon after. And thank you so much to them for sending me that handbag. It is divine. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and wish to do so, there is a button below with a bell next to it. If you hit that bell, you will get notifications of all my new videos. I will see you in my next video, guys. Take care. Peace.